Five o'clockers, my name's Bryony and it's time to think about going back to school, college or university. So Overclockers is here to show you the ultimate student setup and give you some ideas on what to spend that student loan on. So let's get into it. First on our list is the Overclockers UK Premium Gaming Surface. This is an absolute must have and it is a great mouse mat if you want to cover up those ugly beige uni accommodation tables or desks that you're going to get. You've got this lovely rubber surface on the bottom so it grips nicely, there's stitch edges to stop any fraying and I just love the design. I think it's going to spruce up your uni halls, your gaming setup, just make it look that much better, make it feel a little bit more homely and you've got the added bonus of it'll make your mouse work a lot better as well. Your desk is now looking the part with an Overclockers UK mouse mat, so now it's time to feel the part by upgrading your ugly, nasty office chair. You've got no idea what anyone's been doing on that or how long it's been there, so why not switch it up? This here is a Noble chair and you can actually get 5% off the entire Noble chair's range when you sign up to Uni Days. You sign up on their website, it's super easy and it's free to do. All you have to do is prove that you're a student and then they give you a discount code that will work on the whole range on the Overclockers website. Noble chairs come in a huge range of different designs. If you want something more subtle, you can go for the Black Edition Epic like I've got here or they've also got the larger, more spacious Hero. There's fabric editions and they have special editions from Bethesda or Marvel if you want to show off your favourite game or favourite movie etc. No matter which one you choose they are going to be way more comfortable than that ugly awful office chair. At the heart of your setup is going to be a PC or a laptop and as a student you probably want something a little bit more portable so we're going to kick things off with the laptops. They can be a little bit difficult to choose because it really does depend on what you're going to be using them for or what your budget is but to kick things off we've got the MSI Pulse GL66. I've chosen this one because I think it ticks a lot of the boxes that you might be looking for in a laptop. For one, it's reasonably affordable. You're not paying crazy money, but you also get a really good performance punch. There's an i7 and RTX 3060 with other CPU and GPU options available if you have a little bit more budget to spend. That is going to be plenty for gaming in the evenings if you love to spend your free time playing the latest games, or if you're doing a degree where you need a little bit more of a performance punch. So something like architecture or game development, for example, this laptop is going to be great. Other hardware options include 16 gigabytes of memory so that you've got plenty of space to multitask, have all those Chrome tabs open and get those workloads done. There's also one terabyte NVMe drive in here as well, which will be super fast and has plenty of space to store all your important files. The screen is 15.6 inches, which I think is a great portable size. You can also go for the GL67, which has a 17 inch display, but that'll be a little bit harder to take with you because it is a much bigger sort of form factor. It's 1440p, 165 hertz, which I think is the real sweet spot for gaming. It's gonna look great on this display. And also it has 100% DCIe P3 color ratio as well, which will be great for creative or design work. You get more accurate colors and it also looks great when you watching movies in your free time. There's a huge range of different laptops available at Overclockers UK that we could talk through, but I've skipped over now to something a little bit different because it's more of a solution than just a laptop. It's the Asus ROG Flow 3-in-1, and you get this very small, very compact, and very lightweight 13.5 inch laptop, which has a 3050 Ti and Ryzen R9 processor. You can then plug this into an RTX 3080 when you're next to an outlet, so for example, when you're back home or in your accommodation and you can get all of that wonderful graphics performance while also having the benefit of a small compact laptop to take with you. We actually did a full dedicated video when this first came out and I absolutely love it because it has so much versatility. You can fold it over like this and it then turns into a graphics tablet. It comes with an included stylus, you can draw on it, you can create on it and then you can even flip it over 
back to this position, which apparently is better for cooling. So you can then use that for gaming or you can use it for presentations as well. It really is so versatile, so flexible, and I love that ROG have done something really different with the design to allow you to have the portability to take the selectors, take notes on it, then bring it home and plug it in for gaming or extra performance. We've spoken about the portability of laptops, but how about for those of you that prefer a more traditional gaming PC? Well, here I have the Amber, which is part of our pre-built range, and all the pre-built systems actually have 5% off with uni days. Pre-built means that they are already built and they're ready for next day delivery as well. So if you need a system quickly, they are absolutely ideal. We've tested them, we know the performance they're gonna give you, and they even come with a three year warranty, which includes parts and labor. So if over the next three years, when you're doing de your degree, you have any issues, you can ship it straight back to Overclockers and we'll sort it out for you, fix it and ship it straight back. And you don't have to pay anything, which is really great peace of mind. The Amber, the reason that I've chosen it is because it is quite compact, it's quite lightweight, so you could easily take it on the train if you needed to. It's got an i3 processor, an RTX 3050, and 16 gigabytes of memory as well. So if you wanted to play games at 1080p, you could quite easily, but it's also ideal for typing up those essays, browsing the web, watching movies, etc. Also, as part of our pre-built range, we do have a load of different systems to meet your needs and your budget. You've got the more affordable 550 pounds Crimson, which is a kind of an entry-level gaming PC, all the way up to like the Indigo or the Azure, which have that extra graphical performance, CPU performance, which is ideal if you're doing a degree such as film, game design, architecture, etc., where you know you're gonna need that extra oomph. They really do have a PC for you. And of course, they've all got 5% off with uni days. Moving on to the peripherals in our student setup, for the keyboard we have chosen the Ducky 13 Classic. It's available in black or white to match your PC. They do do a few other sort of like exotic colours as well. I particularly love this white version and we've also gone for 10 keyless because you might not have that much space and 10 keyless obviously saves you space on your desk. You can also fit the PC on there as well. We have done a full dedicated video on this keyboard so make sure to check it out where we tested out all the different switch options. They've got everything from the silent reds if you don't want to wake up your housemates all the way to those clicky Cherry MX blues which are really great for typing out the essays. Obviously you're going to need a keyboard if you opt to go for a PC but they're also a great upgrade to a laptop as well particularly if you're going to be doing a lot of writing which is kind of a must have at uni or even if you want to enjoy gaming a little bit more it's nice to have a mechanical keyboard. Our next peripheral in our student setup is the XM1 RGB mouse from Endgame. This is one that's probably more for the gamers, but it'll also work well if you choose to go for a laptop because that trackpad can be a little bit frustrating and it's so much nicer to use a mouse. It's got a super high-end Pixar sensor, so it's very accurate when, you, when you're trying to hit those headshots. I love the Brady cable, it's super lightweight and it doesn't snag, and the mouse itself is also lightweight as well. I love how it looks. It does have RGB lighting, as you can see, which is gonna look fantastic. And also it comes in a white option to match our ducky white keyboard, or you can also go for a more subtle black option as well. Moving on to the audio in our student setup, and for this, I've chosen the HyperX Cloud Mix headset. I actually own one of these, I use it at home, and I think it is a great, very versatile headset, which is gonna meet the needs of students. You can plug it in and use it as a gaming headset, and it has super high-res audio when you use it that way, and you also have a great sounding microphone or you can unplug the microphone, you can unplug the auxiliary cable, and you can use it with Bluetooth connectivity as a regular pair of headphones. That's gonna be great for using public transport, or if you're just trying to study, work in the library or whatever, and you just wanna block out the outside world around you without having a cable or anything getting in the way. They sound great, the battery life is good, they're really comfortable to wear, and overall, HyperX do a great job with headphones, and the Cloud Mix is no exception. 
Moving away from our lovely peripherals, let's take a look at storage. I know storage can be super boring, but I think this is an absolute must have for students. It's the Seagate One Touch and it is external storage. So you can plug it into your PC, you can plug it into a laptop, it will give you more space to store your files and also back them up. You've got all those important assignments, dissertations, you spent hours writing them, hours working on them. Do not lose it. Make sure you back up your stuff. Seagate actually has their own software so you can set it up automatically to do it hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. It will automatically back everything up on your PC for you and make sure that it's safe. It's also small, it's light, it's portable. You can take it with you anywhere. If you happen to be working on a different PC in the library, for example, or an IT lab, you can easily move your files onto this and take them home with you. For students, it's brilliant. There's two terabyte, four terabyte, and also if the worst were to happen, Seagate includes their rescue recovery data service for two years. So if you buy this drive, if uh, 18 months down the line, it gets water damaged, it gets crushed, whatever reason your files get corrupted, you can send it off to them and they will get all your data back for you, which is brilliant, all for under hundred pounds. A student setup wouldn't be complete without a good display. If you're using a laptop, it gives you a little bit more room to open files. You can have a couple of screens. You can have work on one screen, YouTube videos open on another. Or if you're using a PC, obviously you're going to need some sort of monitor. This one is the BenQ Morbius EX2510. I've chosen it because it's reasonably affordable. It's just over 200 pounds and it also has some really good specifications. But what I like most about it is that that it's compact. I think 25 inches for a monitor you're going to be using in your student accommodation where you don't have much room is ideal. You're still gonna have plenty of space on your desk for your PC, your peripherals, etc. But there's plenty of real estate here where you can still see everything you need to. It's 1080p, which might sound low, but if you're using a more affordable system like the Amber, it's great at 1080p, or of course a laptop. You don't want to be stressing out by trying to power a 4K monitor. 1080p at 25 inches is going to be perfect. You won't miss those extra pixels. It's also got a high 144 hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time with FreeSync, which if you're a gamer, you know is really important. It gives you nice smooth visuals, so you get that great immersive gaming experience. And finally, another specification which I love about this monitor is it's an IPS panel. So that means a better color accuracy, better dark colors. It means if you wanna do creative work on the screen, you probably can. It's obviously not like a high-end uh, color accurate monitor, but it is gonna do a pretty good job as well. Uh, also BenQ, they provided a nice stand with it. It's pretty compact. You've got a little bit of cable management at the back. You can also adjust the height and the tilt of it, etc. So you can get in a comfortable position for all those long hours you're gonna be spending at your desk. Last but certainly not least is a webcam. So so I suggested a couple of laptops earlier, and as you know, laptops probably don't have the best webcams. While you're at uni, you're probably away from home and you want to stay in contact with your friends and family, and you probably want to look your best while you're doing it as well. So the Streamify webcam is a really great option because it does have this little kind of like security shield. Obviously in your student accommodation, often your desk is next to your bed, your shower, bathroom, etc. You do want to have, make sure that you've got that extra bit of privacy and you pull this across, it disconnects it from your PC and you've also got the physical cover there as well for peace of mind. Being a Streamify webcam, it is obviously designed for streamers, which means that it's 1080p and 60 FPS, which is great. You're gonna look fantastic, it's high res, you can move around as much as you want, and it does have really good recording quality. If you don't quite believe me, we've done a dedicated video as well where we did test it out, so make sure to check out that video if you wanna learn more about the Streamify webcam and why it will be really good for catching up with friends in those video calls. This is our Overclockers UK back to school college university student setup. And now to make it authentic, I'm gonna add a few Harry Bows, Overclockers mug, and of course, an energy drink as well. Obviously, this setup here is just to give you a general idea on a few different things you might be able to pick up or look into if you're going to be getting some new setup equipment this September. I know that students are often quite strapped for cash. I was a student once. I think most of my student loan went on PC hardware. So you don't have to go out and buy absolutely everything. It's just to give you a few ideas. For example, a mechanical keyboard, a mouse to use with a laptop, a more compact monitor, external storage for definite, definitely look into that because it can save you and hopefully it's just given you a few ideas and I hope that you guys have a brilliant new term.